Well, as he's done through much of his campaign, Donald Trump was anything but ordinary at day one of the Republican National Convention. In fact, he actually made an early appearance at the convention to introduce his wife, Melania Trump. Our Kimberly Gill joins us live from Cleveland. Oh, what a night, Kimberly. You're right, Karen and Devin. Good evening. In true Donald Trump fashion, he was unorthodox again tonight. As usually, the presidential nominee waits until it's his turn to talk before he makes an appearance at the convention. But nope, that was not the case tonight for the Donald. It is my great honor to present the next First Lady of the United States, my wife, an amazing mother, an incredible woman, Melania Trump. Thank you very much. Thank you. Donald Trump once again doing something that no other presidential nominee has done, introducing his wife as she headlines the first night of the Republican National Convention. Thank you very much. You have all been very kind to Donald and me. On the campaign trail, this potential first lady is often seen but rarely heard. But that all changed tonight when the 46-year-old took the spotlight. Donald is and always has been an amazing leader. Now he will go to work for you. No room for small thinking. No room for small results. Donald gets things done. Also on the schedule tonight, former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani. He's made headlines lately by attacking the Black Lives Matter movement. Tonight, he talked about terrorism. To defeat Islamic extremist terrorists, we must put them on defense. We must commit ourselves to unconditional victory against them. Meanwhile, outside the convention, a number of protesters gathered to speak out against Trump and to plead for peace. And you don't get peace by being hateful or shaking your fists or being angry. You get peace by talking and compromising and trying to understand other people's points of view. Now, tonight's theme was Make America Safe Again. We heard that quite a bit from a lot of the speakers tonight. We're also hearing that Donald Trump is headed back home to his uh, home in New York City, and he's going to come back here to Cleveland uh, Wednesday or Thursday when he officially accepts the GOP nomination. We are live outside the Republican National Convention in downtown Cleveland. Kimberly Gill, Local 4. Yeah, Kim, we talked to you earlier on this evening, the early uh, newscast. We saw we had a few protests, some of them pretty interesting, going on behind you. Uh, right now it looks like you got a lot, a lot of law enforcement leaving for the evening behind you. What's going on now? Yeah, you know what? I, I think, Devin, a lot of the delegates and guests are filing out of the convention center is what we're seeing. There are still plenty of protests. They've been peaceful so far right in the area where we are, East 4th Street, uh, right in front of the queue downtown Cleveland. As you said, yes, a very heavy police uh, presence here. We're seeing and hearing police helicopters circle around the area above me right now. And then right in front of me here, there are about a half dozen police officers that are on horses. Uh, so certainly no shortage of police here. Um, Cleveland remains ready for this, they say. And um, from all accounts, from what I can tell, everything's going pretty good. It's, it's a nuisance because of all of the closed off roads and oh, so yeah. forth. But yeah. uh, that's what they have to do to yeah, keep us safe. People Cleveland got to love having this in town. Yeah, it's a bit of a hassle, no doubt about it.